everybody welcome back to my channel it's Janicia and in this video I have something to share with you so I have known for a little while now but um I'm moving to Florida I have been in Charlotte for three years and it's time to go so let me explain why so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now then you know that I move quite often. In 2015, I packed up everything. I loaded up my little Honda Civic. I didn't have no money. I didn't have, you know, a place to stay. I didn't have a job. I didn't know anybody in Los Angeles, but I still packed up my car and I did the seven day journey from Florida to Los Angeles. And it was one of the best things that ever happened to me. It changed my life. I grew up fast. I learned a lot about myself. I learned how to depend on God. I just learned so much on that move and stepping out in faith. And so I was in Los Angeles for two years. I wanna say like the best two years of my life was literally amazing. Um, but after two years, I really felt like God was calling me to move to Charlotte, North Carolina. So I have been here for three years. And um, I, I love Charlotte. It's a wonderful place. Um, but it is now time to go. And I'm about to move to Florida. Now, by me moving out of Charlotte, that is not saying by any means that Charlotte is a sucky city. If you're interested in moving to Charlotte, please don't let this deter you from moving here. It is a, an amazing place. I love it, but it's time for me to go. So I want to explain why I'm moving. But before I get into that, I want to explain why it's significant that I'm moving to Florida. Because one, I don't go backwards. I don't, I don't like to go back on my word. I don't like to go back and move to a different city. I don't like to go back and go to, back to an old relationship. Like, I just don't go backwards. And so for a long time, the thought of moving to Florida would be like, I'm moving backwards. Like, who, who does that? Like, one, this world is so vast, so unique, so wonderful. That is so many places to see, so many people to be around, so many cultures to experience that moving backwards or going somewhere that I know is like, really? but I'm really finna do it. And so it's kind of like uh, having to like shift my thinking in it because when I left Florida, I said I was never moving back to Florida. And here I am now moving back. So now let's get into why I'm moving. One of the major reasons why I'm moving is because of my family. I have family here in Charlotte, but my immediate family, which is my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, my grandparents, and my nieces are there in Florida. And I have been gone for five years and little kids, five years is a long time to little kids. Like they grow up so fast, so many milestones that I have missed. And it has really saddened me that I wasn't there at a lot of recitals, graduations, like different things. And I just really want to be there as they're growing up, at least for a couple of years. I'm not saying that I won't move again or won't, you know, leave the state, probably the country. Like I know that I will be moving again. It's without a doubt. But right now, I feel like that's where I want to be. That's where I need to be. Second reason is because I feel peace about it. I really feel like God has been like kind of tapping me on the shoulder and kind of like encouraging me to move. Now, I've learned this about myself over the years. I am 30 now and it's taken me a long time to kind of get to know myself. But I really know that God has made me to be like a nomad, has really made me to be someone who travels a lot. And that's in my DNA and I can't fight it. And so knowing that this is who I am and this is how he called me to be and to function, I'm perfectly fine with that. Actually, I'm excited about that. Like the words forever home is one of the worst scariest things you could ever say to me like being somewhere forever is like I can't do it like I don't I can't do it that's just not me that's not how he made me that's not in my DNA so I'm comfortable with moving and some people are kind of like like they don't get it they don't understand how I can just take these bold moves and like do all this crazy stuff like they ask me am, am I fearful like is it scary all that stuff and my answer is usually no um one because i know who i am and this is who i am but also there's things that i've learned over the years that has made me become more confident more comfortable with taking bold leaps of faith like i'm not scared anymore like i know how to i just know how to approach things and i just know how to tackle huge leaps of faith 
with confidence and with courage and with faith. So if you're someone who is looking to take a huge leap of faith and move to a new city, quit your job or start a business, which I have done all of the three um, multiple times, and you need some help in that department, maybe you're scared and you just want some courage or just to know that God is calling you or how to recognize that, I did a webinar and you'll find the link down in the description called The Five Signs That God Is Calling You To Take A Leap Of Faith. If that's something you're struggling with and something that you need help with, go ahead and click that link and I think this will really help you out but yeah this is my third faith move as a grown adult like I said I moved a lot when I was younger I wasn't in the military but you know uh, my mom moved a few times so I had to change schools move to a new city get to know new people so moving is nothing new to me but it can be pretty overwhelming to a lot of people now, like I said, by me moving is no way of me saying that Charlotte sucks. It's Charlotte is like not the place to be. I love Charlotte. It's a beautiful city, especially if you are a young family or whatever. Like Charlotte is nice. Even a single young adult, Charlotte is wonderful. Now, if there's anything about Charlotte that would encourage me to leave is one thing. And that is the weather. I have learned that I hate the cold. I knew this before, but now I know it, know it. Like, I know it without a shadow of a doubt. I hate the cold. Now, if you're from up north, Charlotte is probably like a breeze, nothing to even worry about. <laughs> but for me, from Florida and moved to LA, like, it's hot there. And I would take sweating bullets 10 times over being cold. Like, any weather that is constantly under 60 degrees is way too cold for me, okay? The 50s, the 40s, the 30s, you call it a wrap. Like, I hate the cold. I hate coats. I hate jackets. I hate winter boots. I hate socks and gloves and mittens and earmuffs and all that. No. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't like it. So I would be lying if I said I cannot wait to leave Charlotte because of that one reason. But if you are from a cold climate, this is probably a piece of cake. Charlotte is considered like mal winters. It's nothing like crazy cold, but it's crazy cold to me. And uh, I can't do it no more. Now I will be back to visit family and people I know here, but uh, probably only in the summer and the fall and wintertime they need to come see me. But Charlotte is it's pretty cool. I really love it as a city. So as you're watching this video, I am about to move very soon i'm leaving at the end of july so currently i have sold almost my entire home i've sold everything on offer up and facebook marketplace and i'm using the same method that i used on my other moves if it don't fit in my car i'm not keeping it but it's kind of sad because i have lived here the longest and i have accumulated my couch my tv you know dining room tables and all kind of stuff like furniture furniture like I haven't bought furniture in like ever. Like I've never had my own apartment. I've always lived with other people or had roommates or whatever. So I have so many things that I needed to sell, but it makes more sense for me to basically sell everything than to try to take everything down to Florida because the price of the U-Haul and gas and just all that, you know, stuff that goes on with, and carrying heavy stuff to me is, it costs more than just buying new stuff. Like besides my couch and my TV, everything I pretty much bought secondhand or on um, offer up. So it will cost more to move the stuff than to just buy new stuff. So that's what I plan to do. I have sold pretty much everything and I have, you know, recorded during this process. So I will upload videos soon showing the whole process of me actually moving. So if you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the future videos of me doing my third faith move and moving from Charlotte, North Carolina to Florida, then go ahead and subscribe because I would love to see you more often and I'll see you later. Bye.